welcome to my channel in this video we are going to connect our microsoft sql server database and microsoft visual studio 2022 okay so particularly the visual basic uh, language so in here i created a, a connection in microsoft uh, visual studio 2008 okay but if you're going to make a project in visual studio 2022 and you will not choose the .NET framework it creates an error in the connection it will find uh oldb connection adapter and oldb command okay so let's try it we are going to make a new project in visual studio okay so this one windows forms and then windows forms up okay so sample one sample one okay create Okay, so I'm going to copy this, this connection here. Okay, so I will also create a module. If you haven't watched the, the video in creating this one using Visual Studio 2008, uh, you can find it in the description of this video. Okay, so in here, I'm going to add new module. Okay, add new module. Add and then new item and then module. Okay, so example connection. Okay, so if I'm going to paste it here, okay, as you can see here, okay, these are not available in our project. So what we are going to do is we are going to add the um, OLEDB, okay, in this um, project. So right click here in our sample one, okay, and then uh, here manage new get packages, and then look for um, system that system that data that oldb this one system that data that oldb okay so in here the first one here so as you can see the the packages okay inside this one okay okay so we are going to install this one in our project okay okay so that's it and then let's go back to our connection here I'll close this one and let's go back to our connection here. As you can see here, there is no more error in our connection. So let's try our connection here. So we are going to use uh, field data grid and uh, two parameters. We have the SQL string and the data grid view. So we are going to use form one. Okay, so let's put data grid view here. Okay, data grid view or data in here. This one. Okay, and then let's try it. So let's try to uh, to um, retrieve the records from TBL users. So during the load event, we are going to use the field data grid. Uh, this one, field data grid. Okay. So we are going to use uh, SQL string and then data grid view. Okay. So in here, select asterisk from TBL users okay so i have already created uh, table users so please check my my video in the description okay and then we're going to uh, use the data grid view one this one so i am going to rename this one first let's say dg users okay and then let's see this one and then let's run our program Okay, in here. So we have retrieved our records from our table. Okay, but if you are going to use a .NET framework, okay, example, I'm going to use a .NET framework here. You don't need to add the OLEDB uh, component. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so .NET framework here, and then we're going to add Visual Basic. Oh, sorry windows forms up that framework this one next and then let's say um i teach demo 2 okay so we'll create one okay in here we're going to add new module and then okay let's say connection also okay 
and then we are going to paste the code from here this one okay so the same code okay okay so as you can see here okay it's already working so let's try to put the connection here also in the, in the form one let's try to add data grid view okay and then we're going to retrieve the records here from our uh, we're going to view our records from our tbl users so fill data grid fill data grid then select select asterisk from tbl users users and then data grid view okay i'm going to rename this one first dg users okay dg users here so let's try it okay here it's already working okay so if you are going to use the dotnet framework you don't need to add the component anymore okay but if you will not use the dotnet framework you have to add the uh, only db component in our um, program okay or in our project okay so that's all for this video so you can watch also some of my tutorials okay like crude um, working on Comobox and other tutorials in visualbasic.net okay so see you in my next videos that's all and goodbye